Nice. Destination unlocked. Zepho. Okay. New objective added to the holo map. Multiple entries. What? Secrets of the Vault. My friend, my name is Jedi Master Eno Cordova. The Bogano Vault constructed by the Zepho millennia ago granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To preserve the order, I've hidden a holocron detailing the names and locations of all known young force sensitives deep within the vault. To access the holocron, you must seek out the tombs of three great Zepho sages. BD-1 will aid you on your journey. Uh, he will be your guide. All right. Cool. So now what? Anything else in here? Because it doesn't look like it. I guess we're going back. That's not going, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to... I'm so used to um, dodging out of the way rather than parrying that, yeah, kind of need to learn how to do that. Oh, I just saw these things right here. These are statues. Look at that. Okay. 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 So... I can come back at any time, you said, right? Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Okay. Hey. Discovering Dathomir. My friend, I recently discovered that Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange for such a culture, okay? There's more to be discovered on Dathomir. So I have two options, okay? Got a scan? What the hell? What's this? Faded mural. A faded mural located on Bogano, not far from, from the Zepho vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. Okay. Right, so I want to try. Hold on a second. I want to try and take on Ogdo Bogdo just to see. Just to see how bad I'm going to get killed, basically. Let's just try it. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. 
just want to see. How that thing's going to work out. Okay, let's try to drop in on him. Somehow. It looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Okay, okay, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. It's not that bad. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try it. So when he attacks with his mouth, normally I should just try to parry it so I can stagger him. And then when he does the red attack, I need to move out of the way, right? That's that's the way things should work, right? Come on, game. Uh, let's go around here. Space that he's in looks very, cr very cramped in. So, I think the drop attack takes a lot of his HP, doesn't it? That's the way it feels, at least. Get the lock on. Yeah, that's what I don't do. <clears throat> I think I think he's doable. I think he's doable. Do enemies scale up with the? Um, like, do enemies scale with the character in here, or like? If I just go off and do my thing and then come back, he's going to be super easy. Although he's a boss, right? So... Come on.
Hurry! Too close not to not to try it. I mean, come on, it's definitely doable. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to. There we go. Seriously. only took 20 attempts hey man how long did uh, ago did you start the campaign uh, just today uh, two hours and 30 minutes ago roughly also welcome welcome Michi scomp link must be repaired to operate this device that's okay 
please tell me that if I come back here, this guy is not gonna be here. Bogling was killed. Is it trying to defend his family? Boggling corpse. This boggling fought back against the Ogdo, desperately trying to protect its family. Oh man. So I need to repair BD1 before I can get here. Okay. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Whoa, he does it. Okay. Alright, let's get back to the ship, I guess. For now. And take it from there. What? What's this? Boggling tunnel. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day, bogglings collaborate in heckles or large packs, spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. Hmm, nice. Okay. So. Okay, there we go. We are staying in a weird position here. I'm not doing anything. You passed the test. Mm -hmm. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Please, please tell me you can repair him so I can BD come back there and hey, see what What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any Oh my god, this guy has four hands. I just noticed that. Patrolling me fabric. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Mm. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Such a coincidence that she was his apprentice, right? Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Mm -hmm. well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Mm-hmm. I had an experience that changed my perspective 
Oh, what do you so mean? So I cut myself off from the Force. What? But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? <laughs> We're in. <laughs> We're in. Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Okay. Cool. Multiple entries. Hold on a second. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. After revealing she is no longer she no longer uses the force. Siri sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD1 who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Cordova, detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Yeah, buddy. Okay, hold on a second. Braca. What is this here? Braca is a poor mid-rim world dominated by rocky plains. It was a site of a fierce campaign during the Clone Wars battles in orbit and on the surface raged as the Separatists attempted to rest to wrest away Republic control of the system. The Separatists were aided by sympathizers from within the Scrappers Guild nearly leading to their victory over the planet. In retaliation, the newly formed Empire cut wages and lowered safety standards within Braca's scrap scrapyards. Scrapyards. Braca is home to the Ibdis Maw, a superorganism that superficially resembles Tatooine's sar Sarlax. The various mouths of the Ibis Ibdis Maw connect to a vast distributed digestive system that resides hundreds of meters below Braca's surface. The, s the mouths of the Maw that reside in the scrap scrapyard have swollen to immense size, fed by a steady diet of starship material. Okay. Empire on Braca. The Scrapper's Guild. The Scrappers Guild is a network of engineers and laborers that operate in concert with the Galactic Empire recycling and repurposing technology, machinery, and infrastructure throughout the galaxy. Since the rise of the Empire, the Scrapper Guild has focused heavily on an expensive but highly successful campaign to do away with all vehicles, equipment, and technology associated with the Republic. Scrapping is the most profitable industry on Braca. During the Clone Wars, the planet's facilities were optimized to break down enormous flagships. Now it continues to be a center of the disposal of starships despite Imperial ire with the Scrapper's Guild. Braca's cargo trains serve as a high-speed transport network for parts being shipped off-world. The average shipment travels through 25 security checkpoints before being exported to the core worlds for resale. Right. Cal is a young scrapper. Okay, we know Cal because, yeah. Siri. Siri? Or Seer. Siri. Junda. Uh, is a former Jedi. Okay, Siri revealed her mentor was a Jedi named Eno Cordova. Uh, okay. Grease. Grease Drittus is a four armed Latero and captain of the Mantis. He works for Siri Junda and appears to hold her in high esteem despite his otherwise curmudgeonly nature. Okay. After saving Kel on Braca, Grease reluctantly accepts the young Jedi's friendship. Okay. Any more? Apparently, yes. Eno Cordova was a scholar and explorer revealed for his revered for his knowledge of ancient civilizations. After experiencing a vision of the Order's doom, Cordova hid a holocron containing identities of young Force sensitives in the Bogano vault. Okay. The Second Sister, a relentless imperi Imperial Inquisitor, the Second Sister arrives on Braca to hunt Cal Ketis, a young Jedi Padawan. Sadistically toying with her prey, she ruthlessly kills Cal's friend, Prauf, before striking. In the attack, Cal is forced to flee, barely escaping, but the hunt has only begun. 
the ninth sister. The sardonic ninth sister joins the second sister in hunting for Cal Ketis on Braca, a powerful Doubting. The ninth sister present ninth sister's presence creates terror wherever she goes, a fact she relishes. Other characters. Prauf, okay, Jarotapal. The memory of Jarotapal, Cal's deceased master, still haunts the former Padawan. Uh, an imposing uh, Lassat, Jarotapal served the Republic with distinction during the Clone Wars. Okay, what did I miss? What did I miss? BD-1. Cal encounters BD-1 while exploring the mysterious world Bogano. BD-1 is curious, good-natured, and utterly fearless in the face of danger. He has quickly grown attached to Cal and seems intent on leading the young Jedi towards something or someone waiting inside the ancient vault that looms over Bogano's horizon. Upon learning that Cal is a Jedi, BD-1 reveals an encrypted memory log of Jedi Master Eno Cordova. The log proves vital for beginning Cal's quest and guiding him on the journey to retrieve the holocron. Okay, cool. Right, so uh, I want to repair my BD-1. Can I do that? No, just a lightsaber. What the hell? I don't wanna... How can I repair my BD-1? Come on, Kel, you've looked at this sword. Come on, let's just get the... Okay. What is this thing? Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Okay. Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? <laughs> well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of bar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing this, this is the nav point, right? So hold on a second. Let's just talk to, talk to this. No, never mind. Okay, we're not talking to you. Okay. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. Mm -hmm. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. I didn't want to go anywhere before, but it seems that I have to go somewhere, right? I can't just repair. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So can I repair BD-1 or is it... Do I just come back later? That's, that's my question. <laughs> that's what I want to know. I was hoping to repair him, but if I can't right now, then we're, we're just gonna go. Although... Right, so what do we have here? Hold on a second. I wonder where we should go next. Search Zepho for yeah, ancient... Search Zephyr for... Okay, use the holo table on the Mantis. Z uh, we're here, right? Okay. What is this thing? This is Zepho, and this is Bogano. No, Dathromir. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, main objective is here. All right. Now, in here, we got thir three out of the 16 chests, and we explored the planet 63%. We found two secrets. Great. Hold on a second. I just want to say, see something here really quickly. So, I can't access this thing, apparently. Not yet, anyway. I can't access this thing. But there's a thingy right here. 
Huh. Okay. So there's a bunch of places that I cannot access right now. Which sucks. Hold on a second, what? So this one right here. What is this thing? Boom, boom. I just want, I need to see something, hold on. on a second this comp link must be repaired to operate this device okay got that something here hold on a second I've been here. I don't understand. Okay. Doing okay, BD one? This thing, all right, okay. Here before, haven't I? This is weird. Uh oh. Jesus. What is this thing? Stim crate. Should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Hello. Thanks, BD1. Okay. <laughs> nice. Stim acquired. Okay, so we're gonna have to maximum number of stim canisters increased. So I can do something with this thing as well, but I guess I don't have to now because we've been here. Right? Okay. Okay, so I guess gonna go back to the ship okay. interesting I don't think there's anything else I can uh, I can do around here for now. I definitely can't jump with that, <laughs> and uh, I'll need to find out how to repair. Maybe maybe I can repair uh, BD1 on the next flight. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna get out of here um, and move on to where the main objective is, which is... What was the main objective again? What's our next destination? It's... Whoops. It's here on Zephyr.